Boom, 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 boom. Five Star Life Entertainment with another recap. A recap, people, of last night's clash, big clash with King Animosity and King Adiz. You know, at the ATL Bliss Lounge Bar and Lounge, people. What a wicked piece of clash. But this is going to be a two part recap, okay? You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a two-part because I'm going to keep this short. I was going to go live, you know, but I felt like it's kind of, it was kind of too early. And I had a lot to say, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just going to congest it and put it in this short video, upload it, you know, to my YouTube fans. So shout out to all my subscribers. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like, comment, share, you know what I'm saying? So you can get more contents like these. Last night, big clash, people. It was not a disappointing clash. And if you was one of those people that was complaining about the stream being so high, it was worth purchasing, you know? So there was a lot of wins for a lot of people. Only one loss, but plenty of wins. But the thing that I really want to address in this recap is King Animosity. King animosity. I don't know if the people, you know, like, was just talking in your ear, making you think um, there was a shot, or this was a marketing strategy for yourself. Meaning to say, I don't know. If you really thought in your heart <laughs> you had a chance with the king sound and you had a nice game plan or metal promotion is really a, a cover up for you keeping that clash as a marketing tool and to, you know, make some money um, um, out of this clash. You know, I don't know if this was really King Animosity's clash and. You use a metal promotion as, you know, you know, because a lot of sounds do that, which nothing is wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? But after seeing, guess what? I congratulate you because if, if it was a marketing strategy, I congratulate you because you sold a good fight. You even had me believe in that. You was crazy enough to think that, you know, you could really um, contend with King Adiz. I'm not taking nothing away from you. You played good. You know what I'm saying? You played good. That was my first time live um, watching you. I've listened to several audios before, but my first time live. You played good, but the way you played, I don't think you was ready for the King song. You know what I'm saying? You guys fumble a couple of you know rounds and stuff like that, and the miscommunication between you and your brother, you know what I'm saying? I, I, no, 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 no. So if it was a marketing strategy, King Animosity, I give you that, man. You sold that shit, man. You, yo, you see how much people flew in, brother? You know how much people flew in? But anyway. I don't want to waste so much time. I'm going to just critique King Animosity. Constructive criticism, you know? I'm going to give you that. And then part two, I want to make this video short. Part two, we're going to break down the rounds, you know what I'm saying? But King Animosity, here's, here's what I, I didn't like, you know what I'm saying? And just that's me, you know what I'm saying? It's my own critique. You know, you could agree or disagree. But I felt like... If you was marketing the sound and you chose Addies to like, you know, make some money, generate some funds, I felt like it could have done another way and a lot better. I felt like if it was like that, then you and Saeed should have like, Saeed and AK, you guys should have sat down and, and better strategize the clash and, and put something together that, that's going to fit. The way you guys perform, I, I didn't, I don't think, I don't 
think you guys was ready. And you have to know that also too, man. You know, you have to know that. Because the amount of forward that was going on, I'm looking at the corner at you guys, you're like, shit, blood, God. You know what I'm saying? Reality had to hit and be like, yo, are these enough true? You know what I'm saying? I kind of predict that um, as long as you guys kept up with Kingpin in the rounds, you had a shot. You had a shot of winning the clash if you got into tune for tune. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think I gave you the clash. Going into tune for tune and Addies, I'm a diehard Addies fan. Okay. Um But what I didn't like, you said in the interview with um those those guys from Europe and stuff. You said in the interview that um, a promoter came to you with Young Hawk. You scratch your head and you said, "Nah, you'll take Addies." You know? I was like, "Shit, the fuck, he did that." So that made me to believe, like, "Yo, these guys look like they're ready." But as a marketing thing, I think you jumped the fence. You didn't pay your dues and you jumped the fence to try to take lead. And look what happened last night. And the results is what happened last night. Not saying that people are not going to want to hear you again. Because like I said, you played good. We heard the box, you know. We, you know, we... We we notice where you caught your gears in those rounds and try to make a comeback, but like I said before, and what I tell any sound, any younger sound that feel like they could take on Addies, you just need to keep up. The catalog is too long, man. The firepower is too much. You guys just need to keep up and hope and pray. Kingpin makes a mistake where he rarely do. Where he rarely do. So, you know? So I felt like, not like you diss Young Hawk, but Young Hawk, I feel like Young Hawk, King Shine, and another song is like the gatekeepers of the bigger heads, the bigger sounds them in the business. They are the gatekeepers, and you have to go through the gatekeeper, man. You have to go through the gatekeepers. If you don't go through the gatekeepers, then you're not worthy of seeing those big sounds. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of sounds can just jump the fence and, and do good. Just a few did it. Few. Just a few did it. But not a lot. Few and the percentage is low. Probably like 3 4%. But not a lot. So I felt like you should have took the, the Young Heart Clash first. You should have took the Young Heart Clash first. Then see where you was at. And maybe take another one. Or King Shine. Young Heart and then King Shine. And then you move up to Addis. You know. Build up the fans. I know your VI people was in the building. But. Not with New York people. Remember. A lot of people from the Biltmore days. Retired and they moved to the ATL, brother. And they still visit New York every now and then. So I hope you really didn't think the VIP was really gonna help you out that night. You see it for you see it for your own two eyes, anyway. You know. So um, I just think the clash now would be you and Young Hawk, man. You gotta go back to the gate, man. You gotta, you know how you hop over a fence and you get beat up and then they send you back over <laughs> you need to go back over that fence man and go through the proper way you know what I'm saying we know now that you have tune you know what I'm saying and and, and you are ready for some songs you know so yeah man don't jump the fence again that's my advice to you that's my, my recap my first recap we just want to talk and just speak my mind on on the way that they went about 
marketing themselves, which don't get me wrong, it was good. Look good. If this was your clash and you use Mellow Promotion as a cover up to like I said, I see many songs do that. A lot of songs do that, you know what I'm saying? But it's a proper way of doing it, man. Not with the king sound, okay? And plus I hope people I was hoping that people wasn't hyping you up, making you think that you had a shot, man. Cause reality did sink in last night, man. And you seen that, yo. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, like, comment, tell me how you feel, you know, if you agree or disagree. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I felt like you should have took the um Young Heart Clash. Young Hawk or King Shine, them two guys are the gatekeepers. Like I said, there's two more songs that it can't, you know, it's early in the morning, I didn't even take the meds yet. You know what I'm saying? You should have took that clash first. You should have took that, that clash first, okay? Young Hawk, King Shine, you should have took that clash first, and then you move up the ladder and stuff like that. But like I said, that was a marketing skill to use Addies to generate some major funds, which pay per view. I heard did very well, and and the the venue was full, bar sell off, yeah man, you know, so um, yeah, five star live entertainment people, subscribe to the channel, boom.